What's up, everybody? I'm Denny. This is Denny. And this is James from tdb.org bringing you another episode. We are drinking some Baljong uh, from that far off container right there from Everlasting Teas uh, based over in New York City. Cool. It's actually, I will say this, there's something convenient and, yeah, just convenient about, about using the same basic packaging. These folks use their same box and they'll add some um, specific info on the sides written out, so the year and harvest uh, season, but um, in terms of, and I guess the size, but um, they tend to just use the same boxes. So when I see these, I know, oh, hey. It's these guys. Yeah, I have another one of these. A little um, bit of free marketing tip there for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. On the flip side, though, doing the... Um... Oh, my Lord. It smells so sweet. And floral and creamy. <laughs> Yay. Yep. It's fair <laughs> smelling very fresh. I was going to say, though, I do love the, um, the art contest that users do for the... Uh, for the tea cakes, I know some people have mixed feelings about those. If you folks out there who really care about those things, fine. You're allowed to care be, about what you want yeah, to. Yeah, you're allowed to be a human being who cares about that stuff. We're just not friends anymore. <laughs> at all. You've been downvoted. You've been downvoted. No, that's totally <laughs> boring. So, uh, James, what do you think? And this smells really great. It's quite it green. Smells really creamy, really it fresh. Really creamy. Uh, so, 2018 spring, I see it written on the side, so no doubt about the harvest. Uh, smells really fresh. Oh, really floral. And you know, it's been a while since mm. I've had some uh, baljong, fresh baljong. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Mm. One of my favorites. And such an appealing looking leaf, too. Mm -hmm. I love the sort of green twisted leaves. The core is looking great. It's a nice little, you know, Taiwan, the high mountain teas get so much more attention. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is also very green oolong. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, I think it can be quite tasty. Yeah, not not necessarily as vegetal, a little bit more floral. Yeah, it's uh, different. Yeah. yeah, than some of those other cheese. Yay! Really creamy, really vegetal. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Gosh. <laughs> really sorry. nice aroma. Yeah. Don't drink too fast. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I like to start mm, creamy. Mm. So all these have a little um, mm, really nice sweetness. This is, it's nice. It has a little bit of like a. You know how like when something when you taste a food and you add a little bit of salt to it, it adds kind of like a text like a mouthfeel sort of a thing to mm. it. I wouldn't call this salty, but it has that sort of like. Similarly saline a little savory thing to it. Yeah, maybe something there You know, it's been a while since I've had this tea, but this really brings me back to <laughs> tasting floating leaves Baljong way back yeah. when uh, It's been a while. Yeah, but yeah, that was one of our early episodes. I think definitely This is absolutely delicious it's uh, it's it's light but um, crisp, sweet, floral, a little bit passion or like tropical fruit notes at the very end in kind of a subtle way, almost um, starbursty in some sense. Um, yeah, no yeah. bitterness, no stringency. No, not yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. And Not the thickest tea necessarily. Yeah. But it and would almost be a weird pairing to have these flavors with something really syrupy and thick right. necessarily. So. You know, we could try to push it a little bit. This tea, unlike High Mountain Tea, also is not uh, rolled, so it releases its flavor a little bit differently than those teas. Right. Um, so might be over a little bit faster. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Thicker, stronger. A little grassier, I yeah, think. A yeah, bit, a little bit more, um, yeah, grassy and 
Maybe there's even like a little bit of a hint of like acorn creaminess. Mm. Mm. And you get that. Uh, yeah. like, but not roasted, just kind of like the creaminess from almond butter or something. Um, really. Mm. So tasty. Yeah, really yeah. green tasting. So uh, definitely for me, this would be a sort of a summer, uh, really nice weather outside brew. Totally, yeah. Yeah. And this actually tastes um, quite strong. I mean, like, mm -hmm. I think that brewing this in a clay teapot might be the wrong way to go. I agree. I uh, totally agree. Yeah. yeah, I think that this is a tea that won't take too much heat. We'll, of course, push it a little bit on the show just to see what it's like. Yeah, and we are using boiling water. I have not reboiled it. Uh, that's probably an intentional choice, or it is an intentional choice. Yeah. Uh, because we don't want to bake these leaves too hard. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Really great residual flavor. It's not, it's not like a tea that is just kind of dies off. Uh, it has still nice, strong, grassy notes. Uh, still, it's not as much of a full body, intense powerhouse tea as something like a a raw puer that's been, um, well, aged or not, frankly. <sighs> yeah, just deep into the greenness of this tea, really. Right. The leaves have actually lightened up a little bit, too, in the cup. You're using quite a bit. What's yeah. the ratios on this? Uh, about 4.5 grams for 70 milliliters, so fair amount of leaf, which is one of the reasons I'm keeping these infusions mm. pretty short, and you can see it's just taking up the entire guy one right there. Yeah. Probably get six infusions out of this, something like that. Yeah, so sweet. Onward. Yeah. Cheers. Mm, really creamy, vegetal still. Yeah, and it's a really interesting, nice interplay. Some folks might be like grass and creaminess. It sounds weird. Yeah. But it's really tasty. Less... Um, yeah, I, th I think it's a little bit stronger now, and so some of the sweet, sweet notes have been uh, eclipsed a little bit by some of those more vegetal notes. Um, I think those might come back a little bit. This, I think, for me, passes the mom test pretty much no matter what. I think this destroys the mom test. Total annihilation, <laughs> if you will. Uh, mom test, be gone. Uh, yeah, no. This, this, is, this is a good tea for the mom test. Totally, yeah. yeah. Heart, uh, this tea, actually, though, I will say this. I think that you could overbrew this tea because oh, it's twisted in green and easier to make too too um, strong. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely do that if we wanted to, but uh, we're not going to. Um, if you yeah, if you use boiling water, if you use the clay pot, and if you did the forgetful mom thing and you just let let it brew for uh, five minutes, I wouldn't want to drink it would that. Taste bad. I wouldn't want to drink that. So yeah, make your stomach hurt. Yeah. Mm. Really nice. There's just a good amount of um, flavor in this period. You know, you can sometimes some of these sort of more subtle and light flavored notes can be subtle and light, but these are strong. I mean, they're very noticeable. Yeah, they're easy to place as a tea drinker, right? Know, new or um, right. Yeah, whatever. I, I think it's sort of a tea that could be appealing to uh, newer drinkers as well as older drinkers too. Um, this is good substance. Uh, but also very straightforward right. in how it's approaching. Yeah. yeah, and maybe get a little more com comfortable and familiar with some of those grassier, more vegetal notes, while still something having something that's a little bit more appealing and sweet. You can see if those those flavors are interesting to you. If they are, maybe you're starting to, to look into some Japanese teas yeah. um, or some just other Jeju Wongs. Um, right. So this is a really cool, delicious tea. It tastes fresh. Shout out to um, Everlasting. Everlasting. If you guys, Tease, yeah, yeah. Let's see if they have a URL on here. Everlastingtees.co. Um, of course, the Google also has that information. This is their 2018 yeah. from spring, so this is quite uh, well, pretty fresh. And I know Sammy, the owner there, spends a lot of time in Pinglin, oh, where Baojong is grown. So uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that the, this tea is pretty yeah. good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I mean. Pick this up. Yeah. That's all I'll say. Really tasty. Uh, gosh, we've been drinking these every year or whatever for a long time, and um, this is just one more awesome yeah, version of it. If you guys like this episode, like the episode, we're going to lose the camera thing, so subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.